Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I will be providing a program example of using the Pulse Output Unit for the NXIO with EtherCAT without assigning it as a servo axis. The system consists of a SysMac NJ, NXIO with Pulse Output Unit, and a Stepper or Smart Step 2 or G5 motor and amplifier. I've created a project using SysMac Studio. My NJ CPU is an NJ501-1500 and it's version number 1.05. I need to have a firmware version 1.05 or greater in order to use the NXIO. And SysMac Studio version needs to be 1.06 minimum to be able to use the NXIO. I have added an NXIO EtherCAT coupler along with an output unit, an input unit, my pulse output unit, the PGO122, and also a high speed counter card. My pulse output unit, I have selected the output mode to be command velocity continuous pulse output. I have created a program and in section 0 I have added a number of variables. I have position 1, position 1 velocity, position 2, position 2 velocity, position 3, position 3 velocity, and then position 1, 2, and 3 complete, start stepper, and a timer function block. You will notice here I have set some initial values. So my position 1 is set for 2500 and that would relate to a one revolution on the motor that I have selected. It's a 2500 pulse per revolution motor. My first velocity is going to be 500 pulses per second. My next position is going to be 12500 and so I will be going four more revolutions for my existing position. My speed is going to be 3,000 pulses per second. And my last position will be zero or my home position. And I'll go at 30,000 pulses per second. And here's the program that I have created. In this very first rung, when I turn on Start Stepper, that will provide all the necessary action to disable my quick stop, enable the voltage, turn my switch on and also enable the operation. The next rung will load in the values of my positions and velocities into the commanded velocity and commanded position. So I first load in position 1 velocity and position 1. I, next I load in position 2 velocity and position 2 and then I'll load in position 3 velocity and position 3. And then I monitor to see if I've reached, reached those positions. So I've got three compare statements here looking to make sure that position 1 is equal to my commanded position and when it is I'll turn on position 1 complete. Same thing for position 2 when it equals the commanded position, position 2 will be complete. And then I'm looking for position 3, the same thing. When I am less than or equal to 1, so if I'm at 0 or 1, my position 3 will be complete. I then, after position 3 is complete, I have a timer that goes for 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, I reset my position 1, 2, and 3 completes and the cycle starts over. I have rebuilt my controller or compiled, gone online, and synchronized and downloaded my program. I have brought up a watch tab and I have added start stepper, command position, command velocity, 
my present position, and then my timer. My program will first go to 2500, and then it'll go to 12,500, and then it'll go back to zero. I'm going to click on Start Stepper, make that condition true. Goes to 2500, immediately then goes to 12,500, and then comes back to zero. And then it restarts after three seconds. And that is an example of using the pulse output unit without assigning a servo axis. Thank you and stay tuned for more Omron Quick Tip videos.